Zesto Calamansi Fruit Soda from the Philippines. Hey everyone, welcome back to Obscure Cola coming to you from Hong Kong. Today we're going to try a Philippines calamansi based drink. If you're not familiar, calamansi is a citrus fruit popular in the Philippines. I believe, if I read Wikipedia correct, it is a hybrid of kumquats and like a mandarin orange or something. So anyway, very popular in Philippine cuisine, and uh, this is from a company called Zesto. I've never heard of Zesto. Never, I guess I've heard of calamansi before, but I never really tried it before. I don't really know what it's going to taste like. I guess it's also known as like a Philippine lime or something, so should taste like kumquats or limes. Uh, anyway, I got this at a Philippine convenience store in Hong Kong. As you know, there are a lot of Filipinos living in Hong Kong, uh, mostly working as domestic helpers, and they have their own little supermarkets. And when I went downtown, uh, I stopped by and I decided to try and see what kind of Philippine-specific drinks I could find, and here we are. So let's give it a try. So this is the... I don't know if you guys can see that a little bit of foam coming out of there. It's very sweaty because, uh, of course, it's Hong Kong is getting warm, so it's even more humid now. The can feels really... You can hear it like tiny. I don't know what that is. Like, even if I just hold it because it's full, like it's collapsing under, starting to buckle under the weight of my fingers. Very thin. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Smells kind of citrusy. Yeah. Um, I don't. I haven't. I don't know when the last time I had a kumquat is, but. It's also been a while since I had a lime soda, but this tastes very, let's just say citrusy. Um, not bad. It reminds me a bit of, um, what are those ones in the U.S.? Like the, not the LaCroix, but there was like, was it Heinz or <coughs> Haynes or whatever? There was like those kind of no name, not quite generic, but pretty much a crappy brand of like you know they had like their orange soda kind of fruit flavored ones and their ginger ales and whatever so yeah whatever that brand is that's what this reminds me of Cragmont Cragmont was it Cragmont no Cragmont was like the the Safeway's other no name cola right? no name brand that they would put on generic colas and generic sprites and stuff. Anyway, whatever those popular off-brand ones, let's say it's just say LaCroix, reminds me of that. Not bad, but not particularly good. I guess it's lighter than a cola, but not really. Um, this one says it has real fruit juice, and it has uh, no caffeine, and it has honey. So I don't know if I detect the honey so much. Not really. Uh, the real fruit juice, I guess that's the citrusy part. Um, and last but not least, let's talk about the sugar content. It lists refined sugar as the uh, on the ingredients list after water. So it's the number two ingredient, of course. Uh, and it doesn't list in the Philippines, whatever, nutritional thing. It doesn't list per 100 milliliters as we normally talk about. But I did the math. It has 38 grams of sugar per serving, which is one can. And that comes out to about 11.7 grams per 100 milliliters, which is actually kind of high. Um, a Coke in Hong Kong at least is 10.6 sugar. Uh, keep in mind that in Japan, the total carbs for cola is 11.3. So this is higher than that. So it's let's say 10.6. This is a good 10% higher. So... Yeah, it might have real fruit juice, but maybe that honey is what giving it sort of that extra sugariness. I don't know. Anyway, it's not bad. It's just very citrusy. Not the best tasting citrus I've ever had, that's for sure. So to sum up pros and cons, not too delicious, not particularly healthy. Uh, can is kind of flimsy. I guess no caffeine's a positive, maybe. Sometimes not. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm going to say mild neutral. I'm not going to give it a thumbs up, but I guess I don't have a good reason to give it a thumbs down.
Okay, so I have to give my final verdict for the calamansi fruit soda with fuel, fruit juice, caffeine-free from the Philippines. I'm going to say not too zesty, zesto. Okay, whatever. Um, that's it for today. I am actually almost running out of old videos, so I'm going to be putting this out actually pretty shortly after I film it. Uh, it is, what's today? Today is the almost the end of... March, so you should see this in April, so I'm almost caught up. I'm going to start going into my storage cabinet of old drinks that I've been collecting over the last, whatever, six months or a year that I haven't gotten around to filming. This is actually one of them, but I bought it only like two weeks ago. Um, but anyway, I've got at least another 10 or 15 in there, and I'll slowly start doing those, and at some point I might actually run out, at which point I'll have to start hunting for some new ones. Okay, so that's it for today. See you guys next time. Bye. Welcome back to Obscure Cola. Today we're going to try Coca-Cola Apple. I'm here with my son in Japan. Just got this at a family mart today. Apparently Coca-Cola...